Hello, I am the Creative Clerk from creativeclerk.com and I'm going to make a video on conditional formatting with JavaScript because I noticed that if I, I'm going to just go ahead and copy this title and I'm going to go to YouTube and do a YouTube search on conditional formatting with JavaScript. Now what I get is a lot of I get conditional statements, but we're going to use conditional statements. But I get a lot of conditional, get a lot of Excel, but we're not using Excel. So YouTube doesn't have any videos about conditional formatting with JavaScript. So I'm going to make one right here. Okay, so in the code we got this data array full of uh, objects which each have values. We're going to focus mostly on the population. But we're going to put this full array inside a table and then we're going to apply conditional formatting to the population. So down below the array, it's a large array, got it offline. Okay, so let's declare a variable, set it to i, we'll just put it in memory, another one. Data dot length. Okay, so we're one more. Now this is more important. Table equals. Now we're going to put something in this table right now because this is going to be the header. Okay, so all we need is a table row and then a closing table row. Inside the table row. We're going to need five table cells, one for the ID, one for the date, one for age, one for gender, and one for population. So TD, okay, so the first TD is going to be ID. I'm going to go ahead and copy these. I don't want to, have to sit there and type them all out. Paste it four times. ID date. Uh, date. Age. Gender. Okay, and the uh, population. Okay, so now that we have this table variable, which is equal to a table row with all the information, we just need to put that variable, the value of that variable into the ID with the, let's go back here, with the table ID. So we do that by get the document, Document dot get element by ID. The ID we're going to get is the table, and we're going to set its HTML equal to table. Refresh. So now we have the table row. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken we've declared a variable table. We got the element of the ID of table and put that inner HTML into the table. So next thing we need to do is add to this table, but we need to get each one of these values in their array and loop through their array to put each one of these values into more table rows and more table cells. So let's go and do a for loop. For and then outside of that, right now I'm going to just go ahead and put the curly braces in there. Okay, so for i equals zero, semicolon, to i is less than length, semicolon, i plus plus. So for each one of these objects inside the curly brace, we're going to do Right here, we're going to add to 
the tables plus equals and inside quotation marks we're going to need table row and a closing table row inside that table row we're going to need some table data and closing the table data okay now inside the table data is where this information is going to go from our array so inside that now notice that these are quotation marks we have this one and this one okay so I'm going to put the semicolon right there okay so in the table data we need to escape from the quotation marks and go back into the JavaScript value so we need two quotation marks and inside the quotation marks we're going to need two plus signs because what we're going to do is add okay so each one of these plus signs is going to hold data i dot id that's for the first one okay so for each one of these table data table cells I'm going to copy that paste it four more times this is going to be date this is going to be age this is going to be gender and it's going to be population okay so let's take a look at this okay so now we have all the information from our array into our page okay so let's give this table the first row which we declared here we hard-coded it let's give it an ID ID equals in single quotes header okay so let's save that now let's look at the CSS I've already styled some of this stuff I've gone with header any TD of even has a turqu that's turquoise and any odd header TD has a yellow color so so now I have yellow turquoise yellow turquoise yellow okay so now that we have the header row formatted let's go and create some conditional formatting such that if say like the, the population of this city 8 million two hundred eleven thousand it basically it's over 8 million so let's create a condition so that anything over 8 million will have a special conditioning okay so let's create a class call it large pop and give it a formatting of color red okay so we have our class set large pop is going to be a color of red now we need to go down here and add that this is the table data with the population so let's go ahead and add that class here equals but we only want that class large pop to equal large pop in a certain condition so what we really need to do is take that large pop and outside of quotation marks and inside plus signs we need the large pop now inside the for loop we're going to create some conditions because we want the large pop to equal that's the variable large pop we want that to equal a string large pop if the certain condition exists and the condition is data i dot population is greater than 8 million then our condition is our variable pop 
equals the string part. If the condition is true, if the condition is not true, then we just want the large the variable large pop to be an empty string. Okay, so let's check that out. Let's save it. Refresh. Why didn't that work? One, two, three. I think we got too many zeros there. Save it again, and there it is. Okay, so if you look at all of the populations, whenever it's over 8 million, the color is red. And if it's not over 8 million, the color is white. That's conditional formatting with JavaScript using a for loop. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please share it and subscribe and Anyway, I'm going to start making more videos, and hopefully this they will get better, and hopefully this is better than the last ones I did. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.